Hi there, it's Amy. Welcome to my Strengthen and Lengthen Pilates workout. This is going to be a beginner level routine, but great for all of us to do. Even if you're more advanced, it's great to get back to those basics, make sure that your form is right, and you're getting in deep to those core muscles. Let's get started on our backs. You are going to lie down on your back, knees bent, soles of the feet on the mat, and we're just going to start to introduce some movement to our bodies. So let's start with some little pelvic tilts. Take an inhale to prepare. And then on your exhale, pull your navel in, tilt your pubic bone and tailbone towards you to flatten your back into your mat. Then take an inhale, reach your tailbone away from you and create some space under your low back. We'll keep moving with our breath. Exhale, tilt back, flattening your back into the mat. And inhale, reach that tailbone away from you, creating a little bit of space. And exhale, navel in, little lift of the pubic bone, tailbone, get that little lift through your pelvic floor. And inhale and reach your tailbone towards your feet, creating that space under your low back. And then you're going to settle in to a neutral spine. So your ribs are heavy, your tailbone is anchored down. There's just a slight space under your low back. Let's get the arms moving. Inhale to prepare. On your exhale, reach the arms overhead. Notice when you do that, that the back may arch away from the mat. You're gonna to wanna to anchor those ribs down. You'll use your low abs to do that. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, navel in. Pelvic floor muscles lift up and then keep your spine neutral as those arms reach overhead. Inhale, reach down. Exhale, reach overhead. Navel in. And inhale down. Now, we'll add on to this. Reach your arms overhead. This time on your exhale, you're going to curl up your head, neck, and shoulder. Now make sure that your pelvis is staying still neutral. You don't want to have tucked up your tailbone, but the tailbone is still anchored down. From here, use your low abs, float one leg up to tabletop. And then on your next exhale, float the other leg up to tabletop. The first leg goes down, and the second leg goes down. Lower your head and chest, lifting the arms back up. We'll do that again, this time start with the other leg. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press the arms down, curl up head, neck, and shoulders. Notice that your navel has pulled in, your spine is still neutral, those sit bones are heavy. Float the other leg up to tabletop. Use your abs, float the other leg up too. The first leg goes down with control, and the second leg goes down with control. Lower down, lift the hands up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl up, pull the navel into the spine. Float the first leg up and the second leg up. Lower down with control and second leg down with control. Lower down. We've got one more time through this. Curl up. Use your abs, float one leg up to tabletop and the other leg up to tabletop. Leg down and other leg down, lower your head and chest. You're gonna walk your feet in slightly closer to you. We're gonna move on to a bridge. So your arms are reaching long towards your feet. Press them down. We'll initiate with that pelvic tilt again. So inhale to prepare. On your exhale, pull the navel in. Tilt the pubic bone, the bottom of the tip of the tailbone towards you. Push your heels down and use your glutes to lift up into a bridge. And then roll your spine back down one bone at a time, all the way to that neutral spine. So you'll wanna untuck your tailbone at the end. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pelvic tilt. Press your heels down, lift your tailbone, lift your sit bones up. So you feel your glutes work to open up the front of your hips and lower it back down one bone at a time. Inhale to prepare. 
exhale, glutes lift you up into your bridge, and roll your spine back down. So you're going to feel all the energy in your core, that lift of your pelvic floor muscles, lift of your glutes. You don't want to feel any tension in your low back. So if you do, maybe give your tailbone a little bit more of a tilt or keep your bridge a little bit lower. And roll back down. Exhale. Lift your bridge up. Hold here and reach both arms to the ceiling. Now we're going to, again, return to some arm movement. So one arm up, one arm down. Inhale, center, exhale, switch. As you reach an arm overhead, you wanna feel a lot of length through the front of your body. Feel your abs are still pulling in to keep your body still and stable as you move your arms around. Inhale, exhale, pull the navel in. Feel the lift of your pelvic floor muscles. To do that, you're going to want to think about lifting your pubic bone, the bottom tip of the tailbone, up on an imaginary line towards your navel. Those pelvic floor muscles are gonna work in conjunction with your lower abdominals to provide stability to your pelvis and your back. Last reach, keep one arm overhead, the other arm reaches overhead too to join that one, and you're going to lengthen your spine down bone by bone. So put your sternum down first, and then your ribs, and then your low back, and then finally your pelvis, and bring the arms back vertical. Bridge up again, arms reach overhead, lengthen the spine down bone by bone. Think about reaching your sit bones to your heels. You're trying to take up as much space as you can on your mat. Tailbone down, arms vertical, last bridge up. Reach overhead and last stretch down all the way to your neutral spine, you can bring your hands behind your head. Let's float one leg up to tabletop. I have my left leg up. We're gonna go into single leg stretch. So inhale to prepare, exhale as you curl up, you are going to stretch that left leg straight and inhale back down. As you curl up, watch that the navel pulls into your spine. You never want to see that the muscles are doming out. That's an indicator that your larger abdominals are working rather than your deep ones. Curl up and hold the chest lift, but keep going with that leg. You want to be moving from your center more than from that left thigh. We've got two more times. And last one lower everything down, and then float your right leg up to tabletop. Neutral spine, inhale to prepare, exhale, curl up, stretch that right leg out. Inhale, lower, exhale, stretch. Inhale, exhale, reach long, draw the abs in. This next one, you're going to curl up and hold that chest lift. The right leg continues to push out and pull in all using your abs. Make sure your spine is still neutral. That left hip, that left sit bone is anchored down as you move your right leg around it and lower everything down. Arms go out to the side. Knees and feet together are going into a spine twist. So you can let the opposite hip lift up, but you want to keep the shoulders anchored down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, legs drop to the side. You are welcome to keep going with your feet down, or if you need a little bit more challenge, float the legs up to tabletop and keep going.
Inhale, center. Exhale, draw the navel into the spine to support your spine as you drop the knees to one side and side to side, keeping those shoulders anchored down. One more each side. Inhale up. Exhale, last drop to the side. And lower your feet down. And you go ahead and bring that left leg back up to tabletop. We're going to go into some oblique work now. Hands come behind your head. Curl up and twist towards that bent knee. Now as you lower down, stretch that left leg straight and bend it in. Curl up towards it. Your breath can be in either direction. I'm going to inhale, straighten my leg and exhale and curl up towards it. Try to keep that right hip anchored down. Feel the right side stabilizing you as the left side is moving. We've got two more times. And last one. Lower everything down. Float the right leg up to tabletop. On your exhale, curl up towards it. That left hip is still anchored down, left sit bone heavy, and then I'm going to inhale lower, stretch the leg straight. Exhale, curl up towards that bent knee. Inhale, exhale. Pulling that left shoulder blade towards your right hip. Navel still drawing into your spine. Got three more. And last two. And last one. Curl it in. And lower everything down. I'm going to flip over face down and start to work the back of the body a little bit more. So legs are straight. I'm just going to rest my forehead on my forearms to begin. Now, to find a neutral spine when you're face down, you're going to want to lift the navel to the spine, and then think about anchoring your pubic bone down. So you're going to feel like you're reaching your tailbone or your sit bones towards your feet, and you created a little bit of space now under your abdomen. You are going to want to keep that as we introduce some leg motion here. So um, on your exhale, you're gonna reach the right leg long, squeeze that right glute, and lift the right leg only as high as you can without um, losing that connection of your pubic bone down, and then the left leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So feel like you're originating that motion from the center of your body. You engage those low abs and pelvic floor muscles first before squeezing the glute to lift the leg. So you should not feel this is working your low back muscles or feel any strain in your back. And last one, left side. All right, now adding the arms into this, I have my left hand down on the mat and my right hand on top of it. So we're going to, again, find our core position here. So navel lifted, pubic bone anchored down. On your exhale, lift that left leg and stretch your right arm in front of you as you hover the chest up. Inhale, lower, exhale, will stay on that same side. Your gaze is down at your hand or at the top of your mat. You don't want to strain your neck by looking up ahead of you. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, abs engage. Stretch your arm and leg long. Three more. Last two. Last one. Switch your hand, your right hand is down, left hand on top of it. You can just keep your head and chest hovered up, 
Engage your abs, navel up, pubic bone anchor down, and on your exhale, reach that right leg long and left arm long, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, reach. Inhale. Abs engage first to stabilize your back. And then the glutes can lift your leg up around a stable pelvis. Got three more on this side. Last two. Last one. Lower down, hands come right under your shoulders. You can push back to child's pose to stretch your back. Reaching your sit bones long. Abs in here too, and letting your head just drop down. Take a deep inhale. You wanna to try to inhale into your lower ribs, especially to the sides and the back of your rib cage. And then on that exhale, letting all your tension go. Press up to all fours, and we'll start to do a little rocking motion here. So keeping your spine fairly flat and neutral, you're gonna reach your hips back towards your heels, and then shift your weight forward onto your hands. Inhale forward, exhale back, and then just settling into your all fours position. We're gonna do just a little tricep push up here. So you are going to, on your exhale, engage your abs, navel pulls up and into your spine now, and just lower your elbows down, and press back up. Most important here, that your spine stays neutral and that your abs stay engaged. You don't wanna feel like you're arching your back or straining your back at all to do this arm motion. Got three and two. And last one. Coming back up to all fours, you are going to send your left leg back behind you. Now take a moment here to organize. You still wanna feel like you're long on the right side of your body. So that right hip is right over your right knee and you should feel some engagement on that right glute. Now when you lift this left leg, you still have your navel into your spine and you don't wanna see that your back has arched or that you haven't shifted weight over onto that right side. So keeping this good alignment, we're gonna inhale, bend this left knee in. Exhale, pull the abs in, send that left leg back behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Find that ab engagement first, and then move that left leg around your stable pelvis. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We've got two more press backs. We're gonna go back to these little push-ups. So you're gonna send that left leg back, keep your pelvis level and lower down into your push-ups again. On your exhale, navel in. If this feels like a little much for you, you can just put that left foot down and keep going with your push-up. Engaging the abs first, keeping them engaged as you move the rest of your body. One more push-up. Bring that left knee in. Just a couple more rock back, so reorganize your pelvis. And then coming up to all fours, go ahead and send that right leg back behind you. Notice that you still feel engaged on that left hip. Left hip is right over your left knee. Pelvis is level, you've got this lift of your navel to your spine. So your back doesn't arch and rotate as you bend that right knee in. Exhale, press it back. Inhale. 
Exhale. Feel the abs engaged before you press that leg back, squeezing the right glute. And we've got three. Last two. Plus one, you're gonna hold that leg back or put it down for your last set of push-ups here. As you lower down, that right leg can lift up if it's lifted, or you're welcome to put it right back down on the mat. Lift from your center as you initiate this motion. We've just got two more. And last one, both knees down. And one last child's pose to stretch your back. Take that deep inhale into your low ribs, the sides and the back of your ribs are best. And exhale, dropping your head, letting all that tension go. Coming up, or coming to seated. I'm going to have my feet flat on my mat, knees bent just at a comfortable uh, distance away from you, and we're gonna start sitting tall with the hands in the back of our thighs. So sitting upright, sit bones anchored down, tall through the crown of your head. We'll just so initiate with a little pelvic tilt. So on your exhale, navel is going to draw in. You're gonna feel a lift of your pelvic floor, which again is that pubic bone, bottom tip of the tailbone, lifting up on an imaginary line towards your navel, and then you'll inhale and just come back up tall. Exhale, navel in, lift of the pubic bone, tailbone, and back up. Now you can stay here, or you can start to roll down a bit further. And hands can just slide down the thighs for a little bit of support, and then go ahead and lift back up. Just however far you feel connected, you should be able to look down, see that navel drawing in. Sit bones are still anchored down and the lift is an up and in of your low abs. Inhale tall and last roll back. And then you're gonna come and sit up tall. Stay tall, lift the arms up overhead and bring them behind your head. Now, if you're feeling tight at the hip flexors here, you're welcome just to take a little diamond with your legs or whatever feels best to your body for a spine twist. Inhale, grow tall through the top of your head. Exhale, use your abs, pull that left rib to your right hip so you feel a twist in your upper back. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Pull that right rib around towards your left hip. You can pull that left shoulder blade back. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Your sit bones want to stay heavy and anchored down on the mat. So this rotation is coming from your upper back. No compression in your low back. One more each side. And last one to the left. Come to the center, reach your arms back up. If you've changed your legs, bring them back flat on the mat. We're gonna go into a little single leg teaser. So from this tall spine, on your exhale, you're again going to pelvic tilt back, navel in, Pelvic floor muscles lift and one leg floats up to a teaser. Inhale, grow tall again. Exhale, initiate from low in your pelvis and float that right leg up with your abs. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, scoop those abs in. Lengthen. One sit bone anchors down as the deep muscles float that leg up. You don't want to feel a lot happening in your thighs here. All the energy is deep 
in your center. Inhale tall, we've got one more each side. And last one. And grow tall, you're gonna turn to your side. I am going to be on my left side first. We're gonna do a little side support and side body work here. So I've got my left hand down and it's facing mostly to the top of my mat. My left hand and my knees are a little bit in front of my pelvis. And inhale to prepare and exhale, just lift up into the side support. So take a moment here to organize. Your ribs are back, your navel is in, you've got that lift of your pelvic floor muscles. And then you are welcome to stay here or for a little more stretch and work, you're gonna reach that right arm and right leg away from you. Bend back in and sit down and lift up. Feel that left glute work, left side body. Reach the right arm and leg out away from you. Bend in and lower down. Up and stretch, pull it in, lower down. Press through that left knee, feel the left glute, left side body. Exhale in, reach along. Pull it in, lower down, and last time on this side, lift, stretch, and lower down. We're gonna stretch that left side body out. So reach up tall, lift through your low abs. Try to keep the sit bones anchored down as you side bend to the right, feeling that stretch all down your left side. Take an inhale, exhale. And then you're gonna swing your legs around to the other side. So I've got my knees a little bit in front of me, my hand a little bit in front of me, and it's facing mainly towards the top of my mat. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up to that side support. Ribs are in, navel is in, your tailbone may need to press slightly forward towards your pubic bone so you feel that right glute engage, that standing glute. And then from here we reach the left arm straight and the left arm overhead. Bend and lower down and lift, stretch it out, stay lifted high on that right glute, lower down. Work that right side body, challenge it by stretching out, bend in, lower down, two more times through, stretch it out, and last lift. Lift on that right glute, reach your body long, bend in, lower down, and then we take that right side body stretch. So sit bones anchored down, arrange your body so you're between two panes of glass, lift through your low abs, lengthen up, and then take your side bend over. Keep breathe deeply into that right side of your spine now. And then come up and you are finished. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you're aware of all the new workouts. Have a great day.